So I'm going to talk about the jump profiler for Excel. Uh, if you open up a, uh, your sample input folder, you'll find a file called demand.xls. Just open that one up. Um, so profiler and jump allows you to graphically view um, how the inputs of a model uh, reflect the outputs of the model. So it's basically a, a simultaneous sensitivity analysis. Um, so in Excel, a model is basically a function. So you got your inputs here, okay, and then you got your output function here, okay. And we're gonna set that up in Jump. So to find the model, hit the Edit New Model button, give it a name, add the inputs, add the outputs, and hit OK. So I'm just, I've already added a couple of the outputs, or sorry, inputs. So hit the plus button. Input name is just the label you want to give it. So hit Choose, hit Expiration Cost. Okay, cell value is the input value you want to use, which is kind of the default. And then jump will automatically add plus or minus 5%. But let's set that to what we've used in the, in the model here. It's 25 and 100. And we'll hit apply. And the output is the function. So output name, overall cost. Cell is the cell, cell reference to the function. Hit apply. Hit OK. Since we're using uh, Excel 2007 with the XLS file, it's going to check the compatibility, but that's okay. Just hit continue. And so now that we set up the model for jump, and when you hit run model, it'll open up jump, copy the Excel sheet, um, and then use that data to create a profile or graph. So hit that, profile and jump. Okay, so that's your profile or graph in jump. So this is overall cost here on the left, inputs on the bottom. So as the amount stocked goes down, overall cost is going to go up as demand goes up, overall cost will go up as air freight cost comes down, cost will come down. So you can see how the, all the inputs work together, creating the output. Okay, and then it's got all the same um, menu options as a regular jump profiler. You can set the sensitivity indicators, desirability function, uh, and you can also uh, use the simulator as well. But I'm going to talk about that more in another video. That's how you use the jump profiler with Excel. Thanks.